Watch and burn. Hey everyone. So tonight I want to talk about uh, carcasses. Jesus, carcasses. No, not carcass. I guess I could talk about heart work. I love heart work. But no, tonight I'm going to talk about Deicide's third record, Once Upon the Cross. Now this would be the last Deicide record that I would buy as an active young fan of Deicide. And even though this record is incredibly evil and satanic and it sort of checks all the boxes to make this like a total Deicide record, this record feels a little more focused. It's like the evil is still there, but Benton and, and Asim have the drummer, sorry, Steve, he's the main music. He's the guy that writes all the music and Glenn, the vocalist, is the guy that writes all the lyrics. Um, you could tell that they'd sort of figured out that you know, we could have a career here. Whereas I felt with the first two Deicide records, I felt like it was, they were so genuinely evil that the guys in the band just didn't care about the idea of uh, uh, putting out music that would allow them to tour consistently. I really felt that with the first two records, it was like a bunch of really satanic dudes getting together in like a burnt out church somewhere and sacrificing something for Satan. Whereas with Once Upon the Cross, I get the vibe that they started to figure out that we could actually be building a career here where we might be able to make some money and maybe tour consistently off this crazy shit we're making. Because once upon the cross, it feels more structured. It feels, it feels like there's more of a formula at play, a formula that, that Deicide would tap into time and time again. Now, technically, that formula had been in place since their first record, but there's just something so wild and genuinely satanic and chaotic about their first two albums that technically the musical chaos still exists on this album, but it does feel more like it's a band figuring out that the careers might come first as opposed to Benton promising to kill himself for Satan at 33, like he had sort of boasted about doing throughout the course of the first two records. It felt more like this was a band of talented musicians who were starting to figure out that they might be able to support themselves off the music they were making. So whereas the album cover is, it's got a covered Jesus on the cross who looks like he's been um, dissected, very controversial, oh shit, Tracks on here, like the closing, I think it's a closer actually. Yeah, the closer on this record is Confessional Rape. <laughs> so they're certainly not pulling any punches. Deicide uh, still has a serious hate on for Jesus. And I love that because that's exactly what I'm looking for from a band like Deicide. But it, like I said, it just feels more, this record feels more corporate. And not in a sense to insult the band. It just feels like Deicide had figured that, whoa, we got, we got a fan base. We have talent. People care about us. Record labels consistently want to release our stuff. Maybe we should woe back on the sacrificial suicide and all that nonsense and focus more on the music. So, yeah. So look, I'm gonna go. So thank you so much for hanging out with me while I discussed Deicide's third album, and that is Once Upon the Cross. Like always, if you liked this review, don't forget to do something nice for somebody. But most importantly, please don't forget that the world is a better place because you are in it. And yeah, I'm going to go and do something so fucking satanic, it's not even funny. Or I'm going to go listen to Spill the Wine by Eric Burden and War for the 10,000th time. One of the two. It's either going to be Eric Burden or Satan. I haven't made up my mind yet. Have a good night. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.